Assassin's Creed Mirage? Russ told me that this character looks like me. Peggy 18. We'll see it. And he kind of does. Snake. Hey, look, guys, it's El Nino. Oh, my Are God. Are you ready to give up who you once thought you were? Bassam. Did he say Bassam? Oh, my God. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, my God. Was that the Quran? That was the Quran. Wait, is it? I couldn't tell. I don't think so. Ah, oh, this is... Oh my god. Everything you held close. I am. That's awesome. Are you ready to leave your life behind? And walk the path of shadows? I am. Yo, that's hype. Yeah, I'm up. Yeah, I'm up. He said. Oh, this is amazing. Whoa, assassino. Yo, that's hype. Then out of the dark. You will come into the light. <laughs> They're wearing the classic white hood. Oh my god. This is this is wow 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 And from the light you will return to the dark. Yep. That's the creed. They, yep, they chop off the ring finger. That's the classic way. If you guys wonder why Never they do that. Forget the tenets you have sworn to uphold. Yeah. I'll tell you how to do that as well. It's the old ways. Stay your blade from the flesh of the innocent. They're really going to classic mode. Hide in plain sight. Hide in plain sight. <laughs> Never <laughs> The brotherhood. This is a classic. Oh my god! Assassino! Oh wow. It's not a task coup without the eagle. It ain't. Easy dodge. <laughs> From this day forward, you are an assassin. A hidden one. Right, hidden one from ancient Egypt. They bring an Ezio's theme. Stop it! Bye. Now I still am. Back what was that at the end there? Oh my Assassin's god! Street Mirage coming 2023. Oh my god! I'm literally. Oh my god, guys! It's so good. It's so okay. This is the most hyped I've been actually for Assassin's Creed, dude. They even got the look. It's like the Arabic writing on the Assassin's logo. You see that? That's the Arabic writing right there, and I know that obviously because I'm Kuwaiti. <laughs> so. <laughs> Look at that. It's got the style of it. Oh, wow. They even brought back the feather, dude. That was Altair. Altair used to do that. Every time he gets his assassination contract, he would what he would do is he would grab the feather and he would brush it against their necks uh, to confirm that he's killed his target. This is something he always had to do for all the assassinations that he did. And then he goes back to Al Mu'allim and he shows him that he killed him. That was incredible. And he looks awesome, by the way. He looks dope. He's got, he looks like me. That is true. He kind of has my beard, my stash, everything. This is actually so hype. I cannot wait to play. I think, dude, we're going to stream this, I think. Dude, I think I'm actually going to get this and stream the full playthrough for it. 
They brought back the feather. And what was that right there? That was kind of... Hmm. I wonder what that is. I'm not really sure. But they they even brought back the, the tenants. The three tenants was actually something that Al Mu'allam told Al Tayr in Assassin's Creed 1 never compromise the Brotherhood. Hide in plain sight. Uh, hide in plain sight. And uh, the last one never lay your flesh upon the innocent. These are, these are basically the Assassin's Brotherhood. That's, the, that's their lines. That's the rules you have to follow. And then, if you're wondering, I was going to say, this is why they chop their ring finger, right? The reason they do that is because it uh, enables them to wield the hidden blade uh, so they get their mechanism. Uh, when it comes out, it comes out like this through the ring finger. It also ensures the commitment of whoever wields the blade. Leonardo da Vinci from Assassin's Creed 2, he actually explained this to Ezio. But in Assassin's Creed 2, Ezio didn't have to chop off his ring finger. He didn't have to do it. Leonardo actually joked about him having to do that. Leonardo told uh, Ezio, uh, yeah, yeah, I have to chop it off. But they upgraded it, so it became so advanced because it would happen like in the 16th, 17th century. That's when you play Italian Renaissance with Ezio, that you didn't have to do that anymore. The assassins upgraded that you don't have to commit to chopping your ring finger. But they had to do that before uh, with the hidden ones and uh, the assassins brotherhood with, with Altair. So this probably took place before Altair actually. Because they're still the Hidden Ones. They changed it to the Creed of Assassins later, I think. But initially, they were called the Hidden Ones. That's that's the original. Yeah, this this goes to, like, Assassin's Creed roots like crazy. They even brought back the color of the hood. It's, like, white robe now. They brought back the classic AC. And I, for one, I, I am so excited right now. This is actually awesome. Nah, good job. Good job, Ubisoft. Nah, you really did pop off on this one. You really, really did. That That is so hype. 